Ladies and honest. gentlemen, there it is, the Black Olive. <laughs> it's the latest in uh, in barbecuing because Michael Michael Pilon's here from Romantic Fireplace of Barbecue. Uh, Martin's here from the Black Olive, and of course, uh, the Grateful Griller, Michael Shannon, is here. Because the first time we've seen this with pellets, right? Correct. It's never happened before. It's never happened. What we did got... we use pellets for before? Heat? With wood heating, that's right. Home heating with pellet wood stoves. Yeah. And uh, that people have been heating their homes successfully now for probably about 35 years. It's gorgeous, eh? Yeah, it's a renewable, it's a renewable source, too, the wood yeah. pellet. So, yeah. you know... So it's a good type of fuel to use. Now these are coming out uh, made in Canada, coming out to the, the consumer in the fall. Yeah, we, we're making them right now. It's been right as we speak. Right as we speak, we're making the first run. Thank you for your musical interlude. <laughs> All right, Michael, what do you got on there? We have some delicious pork Whoa. tenderloin. Because uh, you know, I've been here before, as you guys know, and I love anything wrapped in pork. Pork wrapped in pork, dipped in pork, it's awesome. So we've got some right. local pork tenderloins wrapped in some local bacon. Uh, I was in a mood today to do peaches and pork. And the nice thing about peaches is that they can, as I flip these over, I'm, I'm so impressed with the even cook that this black olive, for the record, this is my first time actually cooking, physically cooking with this product. Right. As you guys know, I'm a Kamado, a Kamado fanatic. And uh, I've been cooking with these the, and studying this category for well over a decade now. And it's amazing how even the, uh, the cooking surface is here. Right. The heat is even as well. So we're just going to give these pork tenderloins a, a flip. I hope everybody in the uh, studio audience and the staff are excited about this because we're going to finish these off in about 10 minutes. We're going to drizzle. I was in, big into maple syrup as one of the key ingredients with all my recipes. Yeah. And I have got a little bit of hosin sauce on there to cook the pork with. But we're going to finish off both the peaches and the, and the tenders with a Grand Marnier infused maple syrup. Canadian, uh, Canadian maple syrup, obviously. So. These are going to take another few minutes. Yeah. Nice thing about peaches, you can side them with a, an entree or you can dessert them up in a flash. You could put ice cream on there or you could drizzle them with a really nice, rich Just uh, grill them and put ice cream on just, just like that. Bang, that's yeah. it. And, and actually, I've done a little other little twist today. I've taken actual 100% granular Citadel uh, is the name of the company, granulated 100% maple sugar crystals. And I've put them in the in the pit holes of the uh, of the peaches, and they're just going to slice really nice. We're going to make the plate look nice and pretty. Medallion the pork tenderloins, and everybody's going to be able to kick back and enjoy some some great food. Yeah, I'll have a, probably you know six bucks worth of medallions on my plate. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, I tell you. Yeah, but it, uh, it really truly is a, a, a it's so much fun to actually see this kind of innovation again coming out of Canada as well. Uh, how long, Martin, have you been working on this? We've been in development on this for a couple of years. Uh, we went through a lot of prototypes. It's a very hard system because you're working with food, so you need a lot of know-how. Uh, our company also has made wood pellet stoves for years, yeah. 20 years. So we did have the pellet technology. We wanted to marry the pellet technology with the Kamado technology. So you took your time experimenting and coming up with the right, right system. Absolutely. I've been cooking on one since last winter in my backyard, playing with it. Really trying to find any kinks before we took it to market and we, we think we're ready. You've been showing this off at uh, Romantic Fireplace and Barbecues because you yep. showed it to me the first thing on Saturday. Yeah, we <laughs> I guess our first prototype came in probably Martin, about six weeks ago. Yep. And uh, we've been demoing it on it on Saturdays, as Martin said, doing all kinds of different things. Kurt, it's just, it, it, it's flawless. I mean, every time you start, it's a minute, 30, minute, 40 seconds. Uh, it's, a, it's a very precise piece of equipment that works perfectly every time. How important an innovation is uh, being able to sear and smoke with the same piece of equipment? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it simplifies everything right. for everybody. Again, most people, as far as the Kamado goes, and the market is just coming off the tarmac, so there's no more perfect a time for this company yeah. and Black Olive to, to get in the game, but not only get in the game, but innovate. We've seen a lot of copycats in the marketplace. Yeah. All of them have been charcoal-based. Right. This is a game changer. Mm -hmm. How this do we find out more about this, Martin? Uh, if you go to blackolivegrill.com, yeah. uh, our website's up and running. It'll tell you where you can find dealerships. It'll tell you where you can purchase one. All the information. It'll also give you all, yeah. all the bullet points on the unit itself. Yeah. But the real test is cooking on one. You can. Uh, yeah. We really okay. didn't want a Me Too product. Well, we'll sample uh, Michael's uh, pork and peaches in just a few minutes once it's all done. Yeah. Thanks, fellas, yep. for dropping by to see us. Well, Kurt, Thank we're you. also going to have Michael in on Saturday doing a demo day. So from 11 to 2, he's going to be at our store. In, in uh, Orleans. In Orleans. Where I was on Saturday. And we'll Done. be doing a ton of food, too. It'll be a lot of fun. 
Yeah, we hate going out there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Thank you. Thank you.